So in this video, I want to focus on uh, changes in equilibrium spending. I already have the old AE and the old uh, Y bar here, or equilibrium spending. And they're equal to 30 plus 0.8Y and 150. So now we're going to see what happens when when uh, there's a change in AE naught. So let autonomous expenditure increase by 10. And we'll see what happens to uh, equilibrium spending. So like the last video, we could use the, use the simple multiplier to see what happens. And that's simply the change in y is simply, change in y bar actually is simply 1 over 1 minus z times change in ae naught. And that will equal to uh, 5 times 10 or 50 and we went through this uh, we went through this the last video and it should be very clear to us by now so we can get our new uh, y our new equilibrium spending by taking the old y the old equilibrium spending and we add the change in equilibrium spending which is 150 plus 50 so then the new equilibrium spending will equal to 200 and that's one way we can get uh, AE, the new AE naught using new AE naught this is the second way and this way is you're already pretty familiar with it and that's simply by doing the equation again so new AE is simply equal to 40 uh, equal to 40 plus 0.8y and where did I get the 40 from? Well, we started off with 30 and we're increasing it by 10 so we're adding 10 to 30 so that's how we get 40 and yeah we get a equals 40 plus 0.8y equals y yeah, sorry about this little y it should be a big y and continuing on we do the same old uh, same old thing 40 equals y, bring over to the 0 0.8, so y minus 0 0.8y, 40 equals to 0.2y, 0 0.2y, and if we divide 0.2 by both sides, we would get y nu equal to 200. And that's simply how, uh, how there are two ways to calculate changes in y bar. And I will go through another concept that's related to this in the next.